The Importance of Paper in Three Chapters. Introduction. Drawing's intrinsic relationship to paper enables me to create tensions between appearances of strength and fragility, becoming and decay. This is sometimes achieved through the illusion of damage or deterioration upon the object, or through the way drawings are presented sculpturally, projecting unprotected paper into social space. Drawing, for me, is a conceptual realm of artistic proposal, a dimension in which illusion, materiality, and structural systems converge to develop their own self-sustained semiotic logic. Chapter 1 Around six years ago, I began exploring paper's sculptural potential. Paper remains strong enough to retain its shape at A4, but these ideas do not translate at a large scale. The material soon not only loses its shape, but begins to tear. After having to devise this rather makeshift solution, I began mounting paper to thin gauge steel. With steel, I could create an appearance of paper defying the forces of gravity, and presenting drawings sculpturally enabled me to blur the distinction between object and image. As artworks, they often seem to teeter on the edge of preservation or destruction due to their overall design. The combination of handmade industrial processes unite vulnerability with strength. The object is sound, but the unprotected paper surface, covered by powdery pastel and accumulation of pencil marks, is clearly at risk. I see these conditions as analogous to the state's status of the objects and places I was drawing from, cultural artifacts at risk. Chapter 2 Museum collections provide material evidence for both enduring and changing cultural values. I'm interested in ways artworks can heighten awareness of this as an ever-changing process. Priorities change according to different power dynamics and ethical positions, whilst other forces beyond anyone's control, such as fires or vandalism, can also inflict irreversible damage upon objects that anyway are up against the ravages of time. For me, viewing paintings in museum collections is about an examination of how a subject's handling in paint starts to work in combination with different forces upon the object. It becomes a way of finding expression for the precarious conditions of life more generally. The trompe loyal technique, using just pencil on paper, is key. The evident labor represents a deepened vision and contemplation upon the object. When the drawing surface is curved, new dynamics emerge. The depicted subject is suspended in an impossible feat of flexibility. I, as the artist, must move and contort to translate a flat image to the curved surface. And finally, the viewer is forced to take in fragments of the image from multiple perspectives. Can viewers somehow identify with what these contortions seem to express? Chapter 3. Since lockdown, I've been drawn to and drawing from road markings near my home. Each painted figure or word has its own unique expressive character. Batter battered and worn, yet still legible, they're small offerings of guidance and direction. I've worked as both an archaeological illustrator and a theatrical set painter, and skills from both fields inform this body of work. Graphite serves to ossify some elements in closely observed detail, while colored pastel is used inventively to suggest the texture of surfaces in the urban landscape. The contrasting techniques rely upon the character of the particular paper's tooth and density. The result requires different types of viewing, up close and far away. This creates an uncertain dynamic between figure, ground, and object, 
visible features and material characteristics that seem to stand in for unsettling psychological states. Keep clear, only just remains legible. Out of context, it flirts with futility, but it nonetheless exists and persists in having purpose. <laughs>